Hi, what's up guys? Uh, I am Shoki from Lajn Effects and today we'll be talking about um, a new feature on After Effects and Premiere Pro for sure. Um, it's an amazing feature that allows designers to create standalone motion graphics templates, especially for Adobe Premiere Pro users. Um, to, hand, to enhance their, um, uh, their edits with a stunning graphics element, uh, fully editable, uh, I'm talking about motion graphics, um, on Adobe Premiere Pro without having um, After Effects installed on their system. In this series of tutorials, we'll focus on how to create Mogurt files. Uh, Mogurt is the abbreviation from uh, Motion Graphic Template. Uh, Mogurt files on uh, After Effects from a simple um, text template uh, to more advanced and complex compositions. Um, we'll start, for example, from a text container, uh, like a lower, lower third, uh, subtitles, everything, and we'll um, go step by step uh, to more advanced features like expression control, color control, slider control, and everything. So uh, let's move forward. Hi, this is the interface of After Effects. As I mentioned before, this tutorial will start simple, like by creating just a text to be changed on uh, on Premiere Pro using um, using the essential graphics feature. Uh, so to find that panel, you have to go to menu, window, essential graphics. As you notice, there is a new panel added since the latest version of Adobe uh, After Effects. Uh, we'll create a new composition. We'll rename it, for example, text template. Uh, okay, the size is okay. Everything is okay, 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, yeah, on our new composition, we'll add a new element, new text, text to be changed. Let's move this text to the center uh, to make like uh, uh, an animation for our text. Let's keep the slider on the first frame of the composition and go to effects and presets and then write type typewriter and we'll double click on it having the text selected double click on this preset and we'll have our text typed okay uh, let's move forward let's add a new uh, item new solid with blue color okay and move it under our text Let's resize it, move it a little bit. Mm, let's add transition. So I have effect, go effect and transition, linear wipe. Okay, let's say linear wipe, okay. Okay, let's change it minus 90. Okay, for that nice let's synchronize it a little bit with our our text let's put a keyframe here and go back in the starting with line okay let's type zero on the numeric pad so we can render it okay let's say this is our first template once you finish your composition, you can just go and you see this triangle, open it, you have text, and you can notice here that the source text, just drop it on your, on your essential graphics window panel and you have your text source. Let's say to write here it's main text. Okay, and you have the content is text to be changed. Uh, to recognize this um, Mogurt file after we can set our thumbnail since now so we can get set poster frame and uh, let's name this uh, motion graphic template file as text template and now we can export our motion graphic template he will request us just to save our projects okay let's save the project text template okay i have saved it 
this one and we can browse and we can create our text template like motion graphic template let's say this one text 01 and save it okay okay guys let's move to adobe premiere okay this is the adobe premiere interface and uh, to use that motion graphic template file I have right click new item and the new sequence okay so we have our new sequence if you go on browse mogger file edit this one we can import it once we import it you can change your preview here like that. if we import it you can find it in our library here just click drag it to your sequence okay once your file is imported you can play and you can see your graphic template the cool thing about this thing that once you click here you have your essentially graphic window here pros and here the edit panel and you can change your text for example here let's say my first template okay so you will have your new text ready okay. once you finish everything you can go back here and you can drag and drop another item and you will have a new copy that you can edit this one is my second template so you'll have your first one your second one so the clones they are they are not instances but they are clones and you can even drag a third item a fourth item and so on you can select all of these items you can unlink them and you can remove the audio track grab any video you can open any video on your you can get your template in this second layer and you have your first layer okay go to the second one okay guys that's it for this first tutorial okay see you on the next one bye